Ladies and gentlemen, Yukon right here. Uh, been a while since my last video. Here's what we did. <clears throat> we painted the hood the other day and cleared it. And this hood, Tommy Shoe, you think you have it bad, which you do. But this hood, this car has totally been repainted before, shortly before the guy bought it. And uh, it's, it ain't worth a fucking penny. It's uh, the same hack job you're going through, Tommy. Uh, what we're having to do is we're attempting to buff the entire car out, which there's really no attempting to it or whatever, but started on it the other night. Uh, it was the last night. would have been... the fuck was last night? Uh, Monday night. Or Sunday night. I don't, whatever night we did it. I don't know. But this car has scratches so deep that buffing it is doing nothing. And the kid doesn't want to spend a whole lot on it. You can see this side's really shiny. This side's all buffed out. Uh, buffing it ain't taking the scratches out. It needs to be sanded. Uh, the kid doesn't want to do that. He's not paying enough for us to do that. So, we're not going to do it. So we're just going around buffing it. I don't know if it's going to pick them up. Them scratches there. We buffed and buffed and buffed and buffed some more and it's not coming out. Plus, as you can see, them things, by the looks of it to me, it's a solvent pop. And when I hit it with the buffer, it peeled the top of it off. Not our problem. The kid knew this shit was messed up. But, I don't know if you can tell a difference from that bit of shine to that dull shine. See that? That hasn't been touched yet. Um, you can see there's little ripples. Ah, now you're not going to be able to see it. But there's like a line all the way across here of these ripples. I don't know what it is. No fucking clue. Um, so we're just going to buff out from the trim up. That should be right in here, up, the best we can until the kid wants the whole thing repainted. So, that being said, on to the hood. Now, I don't know if all these have the same issue. Um, I don't know if the light's going to catch it. Probably not. But... See that little dimple right there? Right in here? You see it when the light hits it? You wanna know what that is? It's where the, the shock goes. I'm gonna say they bolted it down too tight and sucked the fiberglass down. That would be my guess. When whoever did it redid this car, they fucked it up. Why it's been totally repainted, I have no idea. Um, we had some dust and dirt in the upper sections on this, so we're sanding and buffing it out. Um, yeah. The driver's side and the spoiler have been buffed out. I'm going to do this side today, and I'm going to leave the hood. Um, that's going to be for my buddy. I hate buffing on fresh clear, especially when there's a lot of grooves and stuff. I just, I can do it. I just don't really want to. Uh, and then things, this one is ready to go. But all I got to do is take a little 80 grit and feather that out there. Uh, there was no body work up here. It's all mainly down here. I don't know if I'm going to do it today or tomorrow, but I'm going to take... We bought some glazing putty for once instead of trying to fill pinholes with lightweight body filler. It just don't work very well. I'll skim coat the whole thing, make sure my edges are nice and rounded. 
to where they meet up up here and all that stuff. That'll be done. And we're still fabricating this, which is taking forever. But as you can see, it's gonna look pretty sweet because when all this is mudded in, smoothed out, the only thing that's gonna be sticking through is that. And it comes apart easy, so if you ever gotta take it apart, it won't be too bad. Next thing is, we're got to figure out what we're gonna do for tail lights. He hasn't quite got that figured out yet either, but. No, I don't really have a whole lot today. I'm just gonna buff on the car a little bit. Yeah, I bet it'll only take me, I don't know, an hour to get down this side or so. So, that's where I'm gonna go and uh, try and show you when it's all buffed out. Okay, I think I forgot to put this in the other clip. But this car has similar issues to that 57. See all them spots? That's not dirt, it's not dust. It's underneath the paint and underneath the clear. I don't know if it'll zoom in, stay focused, but look at it. It just looks like shit. Orange Peely is a son of a bitch. But that stuff, the car needs to be sanded and I, Anybody that does this line of work <clears throat> is going to tell you, hold on a second, pretty similar to what I'm about to tell you. I absolutely hate sanding or attempting to sand and buff somebody else's work. And here's the reason why. You don't know how many coats of clear they put on there. When we first started, it looked like there was maybe one coat of clear on the hood. And it just, I don't know. I just really hate messing with stuff. I, mean, I have no problem trying to sand and buff that out. It's the fact that I don't know how much is on there. It don't look that thick to me. Um, could we sand it and buff it? Yes. Um, if there's one coat of clear on there, you're gonna sand a lot of that off trying to get rid of that stuff. And we'll see if we can get a good look. I got the, I got this side done up to this fender. So the door is done. I'm gonna have to grab a flashlight for this, but I don't know if you can, nah, you can't tell. But there's a huge difference between the door. I don't know where the light's at. Okay. See if the flashlight will work. That nah, still ain't showing very well, but I don't know. I don't know, you can kind of see it there, but the fender is a lot more dull than the door is. Um, like I said before, this car needs to be sanded and buffed. Buffet it ain't doing it. I don't know where these scratches come from, but they're deep. And I don't know what we're going to do other than all we can do. So, to where I'm at, I'm gonna buzz that one out and I might say the hell with it and do the hood, I don't know. And, uh, yeah. I mean, just look at that fender. It looks, looks like shit. It's like he drove it through the freaking weeds, like he was deer hunting with it or something. But some of them will come out when I buff it, some of them won't. Not too terribly worried about it. And uh, if you ever do paint work, I don't care who you are, you don't one shot mud, you don't one shot freaking hardly anything, and shit happens, like that little guy. There is a little hole in our piece of paper. Not a big deal. There's a little another one right there. They'll buff off, not a big deal. The only issue is, if we would have painted this, like say a week ago and done this last night, this clear might be fresh enough to where you'd have to sand that out. But it'll buff off because this car's been painted for a while, but it's where we're at. She's done. <laughs> nope, I ain't driving it. No, I just don't want to.